Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know this doesn't look like my normal environment, but then this is the only time I have to do the intro for this video. So today's tutorial is going to be on how to cut a cow neck. Is it cow neck or cow neck? How to cut a cow neck coming up. So this is my fabric, my body's pattern, my ruler, measuring tape, thumb tack, chuck, marker, bio pencil, some office pins, brown paper, fabric scissors and paper scissors. Then these are the measurements that were on my pattern. My bust was 36 inches, my waist 40 inches, then half an inch for seam allowance. So all I did here for the back bodies was I laid the pattern on my folded fabric and I just traced it out like I followed the pattern and cut out my back bodies. When I was done with that, I put the back bodies aside and it was time to create the front bodies. What I did here was from where my shoulder line started from, where my neckline finished, that point where I marked the ending of my neckline, I took four inches downwards and I used my tape, my measuring tape, I took marked four inches and I used my ruler and my marker to draw a straight line. When I was done with that, I used my paper scissors to cut that place open. I cut till I got to almost the end. I left a little portion there because I need that point. I cut to the like almost the end because I needed um, I need enough space to be able to open up the pattern. So this is what it looked like when I was done cutting. Then I went ahead to trace the my this pattern on my brown paper. All I did here was I laid it on the brown paper secured it with some thumb tack so it stay in a place. Then I used my ruler and I drew a straight line from the center, like along the center of the pattern to the top. When I was done with that, from that point where I slashed it open, I extended the top part by 4 inches. 
I extended it by 4 inches Then I secured with a thumb tack. When I was done with that, I used my ruler and drew, I sort of and connected the center of my pattern, that line, to where my shoulder line started from. So from that point, I drew up onto where, where my shoulder line started from. I made the first line, but then I realized that it didn't, it wasn't in the right place. So I drew the second line. So I'm going to be working with the second line, or I worked with the second line rather. So from the center, I drew up to that point where my shoulder line started from. I drew a straight line. Then when I was done with that, with, it, with the pattern still spread open, I just traced my armhole and my side seams on the brown paper. When I was done with that, I removed the main bodies of the brown paper and drew my line, my line again so it would be wide and bold. <laughs> then I used my scissors and I just cut out the pattern. So this is the pattern for the crown neck. This is how you create the pattern for the crown neck. So when I was done with that, I folded my fabric into two, I folded my fabric and I laid my pattern on it. Then I laid my pattern on it. I made sure the top of my fabric aligned with the top of my pattern because there's a fold there. So we are not going to cut open the neckline secured with some pins. And I just used my scissors to trace out my fabric, like cut out my fabric with the aid of my pattern. That place was a bit tricky to cut, so it took my time.
So this is what my back and front body look li looks like. This is what my back and front body looks like. This is the fold. You know the neckline has this kind of dropping effect, so you ha you need that fold. So when it drops down, it doesn't show like the back of the fabric, the wrong side of the print. Here you go. To sew this crown neck, all I did was I folded. I'm opening this up so you see how I went about it. I folded the neckline back in how I cut it and I top stitched the shoulder line. I made sure it aligned, then I top stitched the shoulder line. I'll run some stitches there and some stitches here. And for the back bodies, what I did was I cut a strip of bias and I turned over the neckline. Already turned over. All I did here was I made sure my neckline, my shoulder line for both the back and front bodies, I lined them together, pinned them. You can see the cow is already forming. So I'll sew my shoulder lines together. Then I sewed my side seams on a half inch seam, seam allowance. And here we are. Here we are. Look at that car. Isn't it beautiful? The dress is going to have a sleeve, so I've not attached the sleeve yet, but this is the crown neck. This is how it's sitting pretty on me.